Hey there folks, welcome back to Against the Storm. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features that unlocked since uh, last we played. And uh, do another run. It's going to be a fairly difficult one, I think. Uh, hopefully we don't get tossed out on our ear by the Queen, and uh, hopefully all of our villagers don't leave. So, let's get after it. So the first thing that uh, we notice here is that we've got factions. We've got the Brass Order, Vanguard of the Stolen Keys, and... First Dawn Company. They now spread out onto the map along with me, and you can see they're sort of claiming territory as time goes along. I can't place any of my settlements within their claimed territory, and none of the uh, none of these sort of modifiers will spawn in their areas. The positive benefit is though that I can trade with these settlements. Now that's not going to be of too much help for this next run because we're going to be going right here. Got a modifier of a bandit camp. I cannot trade, nor can I make use of trade routes. This is going to be super difficult. But the rewards are quite worth it. So, anyway, let's give it a spin. Caravans here. Uh, I'll take humans and lizard men. Got four embarkation points, and you'll notice we're playing on veteran. So that'll make things a little spicier here. We'll get some meat in, so we can make some uh, some jerky and keep our lizard people happy. Uh, we don't have anything to make bricks with, so I'll grab some clay. And I'll grab a little extra wood so I can do all my construction right at the front. Alright, so let's check out our uh, forest mysteries here. Wild growth. All resource nodes discovered during drizzle season have 10 more charges. Okay, so I want to be doing my exploration during drizzle. That'll be useful here right at the beginning. Looming darkness as per usual. And I'll worry about these when I actually get up to that degree of forest hostility. So no trade. <laughs> Not going to be able to buy myself out of starvation. And trees give more wood. Alright, let's get after it. Get our paths down here as per usual. Keep things nice and organized. Scabby camp over here. Bring in some bird eggs for a bit of food. Clay deposit we won't need right immediately. I want to try and make use of this wild growth benefit here and get some of these glades cracked open. So, woodcutter's camp. We're just going to go on cutting the fewest number of trees. And I need some houses. How many people do I have? Eight. Alright, there we go. Get our houses down and in, and let's have a look at our cornerstones. Hostility for woodcutters that's decreased by 8 is actually quite useful. Ancient tablets for two glade events. Or gain one lizard for every 25 egg produced. That's a kind of a troubling implication. Are these lizard eggs that we're out here collecting? You know what, I'm gonna take the extra lizards, why not? We're gonna need a lot of people so we can get our reputation up fairly quickly. So having a large population of lizards would probably be good. Uh, three packs of crops or 20 human resolve. Uh, I'll try the 20 human resolve. Humans are, are fairly easy to, to keep happy. One ancient tablet. I'll go lizard resolve as well. And packs or four glades. I'll go four glades. All right, so these are relatively straightforward initial objectives. And it also informs what I should be taking for my blueprints. So I probably want to be making something that will make my people happy. Like the smokehouse, for instance. Which can produce jerky. Which both my humans and lizards are down with. So we'll, we'll start off there. Take the old smokehouse. Oh, you know what? We're going to do Druid's Hut. Ooh, and then the old classic. I gotta take the Trapper's Camp. 
plonk down my crude workstation. And let's set some limits here. Got our initial production limits in place. I'm not going to worry about packs at all, other than the ones that I need to build in order to complete my orders. They're of very limited use to me. I can't trade them with anyone, so... We'll focus on making other products to keep my people happy. Everybody's housed. Oh, our lizards are stoked, because we... Where do we get some pickled goods from? Oh, we had them automatically. Well... That was easy. Group of lizards, some more meat, and some parts. We take those. And what's our next objective? We're busting open glades. We need a little bit more human resolve. In fact, we could probably get that by producing a human house. Move you over there. That's not going to be completed in the in the short term. And then I'm also going to get a stonecutter's camp down. Just to keep some of my new arrivals productive. Alrighty, so we're approaching our first storm here. Lizard people are over the moon. Humans are... Pretty dang happy as well. If I look again here, yeah, above 20. So we're about to finish that out. And I should get down my smokehouse now. I don't have a whole lot of people to work it just at the moment, but hopefully we'll get an influx of uh, lizard people here after this initial storm with our sets of newcomers. Two more humans, some grain, and some more parts. Oh, mind if I do. All right, there we go, Drizzle. Who do we got? Harpies along with. It's actually not too bad. Having harpies and lizard men, they have a lot of the same needs, so it's it's fairly straightforward. What we got here? Uh, I'd like more people, but I could use the meat and the fabric, really. Gonna have to do that. And we've got a couple of more blueprints, so let's see what we've got here. I do like taking camps. Yeah, we'll do that. And what else? Um, I think we're going to take the cookhouse here. Once again, I'm thinking that I'm going to have to rely on keeping my population very happy in order to get a resolve win because I can't trade. So I think that's the way to go. I think that's the way to go. Anyway, choose a new cornerstone here. Newly discovered resource nodes have 10 more charges. Rich Glades is always just an amazing choice. Every five villagers with a need for brawling fulfilled, the chance of bringing back twice as many goods from events increases by 20%. Maybe I'll try exploration training, because I should... Oh, I don't have any way of making brawling equipment at the moment, though. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go Rich Glades for the time being. Probably a more immediately productive choice. I don't know where all of our planks are going to, to be completely honest with you. Oh, let's go, Slick Shell Broodmothers. That is exactly what I wanted. Down goes the new camp. And down goes a new road. Excellent, now we've got some meat incoming. And what do we have over here? Root deposits. And berry deposits, both of which I can make use of. Lovely. And there we go. Exploration's done. We've now got Scouts Pack, which is really nice. Scouts can carry five more items. They can get started a lot faster on uh, clearance places out. <laughs> Alright, eight packs of provisions or 50 meat. Plus three Lizard Resolve in two parts. Or five Lizards, 20 training gear. Uh, I think we're going to go with the packs of provisions here. Because I really need a way to produce training gear, and coal is okay, but I think I'd rather have the parts and the lizard resolve. We'll do that. Eight packs of crops or 40 needs, 40 need for jerky fulfilled. Shahilda's secret cookbook is, is pretty-ish. Some flour and some eggs. Eh. 
eight packs of crops, human clan support. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. All right. So, what does that mean? We need to make a makeshift post. Let's go to regular time here, get that built right quick in a hurry. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the simple tools, to be honest with you. We'll go with the Tinkerer. Just gonna work on packs for the time being. So I'm gonna move my woodcutter's camps kind of back into town. And let them cut away kind of freely. I don't mind this one here. Well, no, don't like that. We'll get this makeshift post made here. And what do I need? I need eight of each. So I'll go and set those recipe limits. Eight and eight packs of provisions. And we've got the eggs for making the packs of provisions and we have got wheat for the packs of crops. Coo, 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 and I'll need a couple of people to work this. One person at least. Okay, one thing I do notice here is that I've got a corruption node on the old crude workstation. I think we'll be okay for one storm's worth though. Everybody seems to be in fairly high spirits. Nobody's out of door. Oh, we got one lizard that's out of doors. Okay. Get that squared away. Make another big shelter over here. Out of any builders. Fair enough. Alright. Pop you off the woodcutter's camp. Storm is here. We do have one corruption node. I'm not gonna deal with it right now, because it's just the one. And it's not gonna make a significant impact on my hearth. And I can clear it later to, uh, to remove the corruption, so... Nobody's in the negatives, nobody's thinking about leaving, everybody is stuffed on jerky and well-housed. Uh, what more do you need, really? Alrighty, so there we go. Packs are all finished. God, this might be a friggin' uh, quick run. Oh, I maybe sh <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that in the middle of the storm, I've now got a bunch of people. So our next short-term objectives, until I get some more orders, are is just going to be to increase everybody's resolve. So, what are we going to do then? We are going to build a tinkerer. I can start building fighting equipment. And we are also going to build the cookhouse. So we'll do them over here. We can get some more diverse foodstuffs down. We've got meat coming in, we've got eggs. Can't grab veggies, but I can get mushrooms. So I'm going to make a herbalist's camp as well. I think we'll get... What do we need for skewers? Can use mushrooms for skewers. Okay, great. They're going to be mushroom skewers. Mushroom and egg skewers. Sounds... Well, to me it sounds good. I know a lot of people would think that would be horrific, but... I'm not going to worry about biscuits at the moment. We're not going to worry about pigment. Alright. There we go. 15 herbs and 10 stone, or 25 insects. It's 5 and 5. Take that crew there. And a new cornerstone. Yeah, I should be doing hub levels as well. Okay, we should crack open a dangerous glade here. Got some incense. I guess this one down to the south will do. Grab up our camps. Our wood coat. Oh, no, that's a scabby camp. Where's my wood cutter? There you go. Clear a little path through. Preemptively build our path towards the location. And let's check out our new blueprints. All right, we've got Cloithier, we've got Brewery, Press, and Market. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ale and pickled goods. We'll do that. And then I would like some place, really what I'd like is some place that uh, I could make use of those materials. So I'm going to re-roll. And here we go. We got Explorer's Lodge, Kiln, Plantation, and Artisan. Gonna take the Explorer's Lodge. A little preemptive, but, uh... You know, we can, uh, we can get after it when we need to get after it. Alright, come on, gang. Get us into this dangerous glade. I need more resources to feed the great... the great people-pleasing machine. Okay, we've got oodles of food, which is nice to see. Where did I...? Okay, we gotta get this cookhouse built. What are we doing here? Smokehouse is going hard. Nice to see. Yeah, and then I've also got to start thinking about creep tumors or <laughs> uh, cysts. Start thinking about cysts. All right, blight posts kind of on the edge of town here a little bit, but that's okay. And we've cracked open our dangerous glades. So let's see what's inside. We've got a couple of caches, which is cool to see. A ton of sea marrow and a ton of stormbird nests. And our issue is a forsaken crypt. Oh, geez. Do I have enough incense? Only got 20 incense. Sh All right, so I'll make the last five incense here and we'll, uh, we'll get it figured out. I'll take another scouts pack, chest of ancient tablets and three ancient artifacts. God, that's actually quite, quite a good set of rewards. It's minus five resolve for every amber I have in the warehouse, and because we haven't done any trading, there's zero amber in the warehouse, so this will be very straightforward. I'm gonna put down a trapper's camp instead of a uh, scavenger's camp to collect all of these eggs, and that's so I can take advantage of the lizard people's specialization bonus for working with meat. So the eggs will be collected more efficiently than they would be if I just use a scabby camp. Something to keep in mind if you have access to both. And the cookhouse has been built. Excellent. I need more lizard people so that they can be happy. But uh, you know what? I'll put two in here just for the moment to get them going. And I haven't set a skewer's limit. Who needs skewers? Lizards need skewers. Harpies need skewers. We'll set our skewers limit to 30. Make sure we've always got a nice constant supply to keep people happy. Can get some new orders here. What do we got? One hub that's a neighborhood. That's very straightforward. 12 simple tools. Plus plank production. My god. Yeah, I'm doing that for sure. This is going to be a quick run if it keeps going this way. Holy... to keep goods. Once again, I'm going to grab that as well. So we're about to complete that here at the Forsaken Crypt, so that'll give me one for free. And then I'll just have to crack open one more. Um, I have to crack open one more Dangerous Glade, and we should be away to the races. I guess I will start putting down some of the decorations required to bring myself closer to getting a hub, or a neighborhood, excuse me. Put some barrels over here. And, uh, you know, I'll put some benches over here, maybe. Benches and barrels. Decorations, where are we at? Ooh, a nice little park. Yeah, that seems nice. Oh my god, it's huge! This must be one of the updates. What does it count as? Counts as four decorations of this type. Perfect. Nice little park in town. Brilliant. 
We've got our we got our barrel lot, <laughs> which for some reason people find comfortable. Then we will have our lovely Gardeen. All right, this herbalist's camp is really not not operating as efficiently as it possibly could be, but uh, away she goes sometimes. Things getting built. Ooh, and then another garden. These are just lovely additions. <laughs> cool, look at that! It's got like a... an automated, uh... Automated, uh, rain punk machine looking after the garden. I don't, once again, I don't know that I'd find that. I wouldn't want to sit under that and kick my feet up under a huge piece of machinery that was, uh, watering plants, but... Guess I'm not these people, so... How? How is your resolve low? What the hell? Let's see, what else we got? Aura of Fear. All species resolve drops 100% fast. Yeah, that's not great. Alright, there we go. Oh. Harper's resolve keeps f flitting. Alright, there we go. We got one of our hubs to neighborhood now, so that's that one finished. Bye. Alright, well I don't- I actually really don't want my harpies to leave. I don't know why. I guess they just don't have as much. I mean, that's- you know what, that's fair enough. I should build... ...some harp houses. Oh. Give them light treatment. That makes the lizards slightly unhappy, but we're almost finished the uh, storm here anyhow, so... And I need to think about busting into another dangerous glade, so I'm gonna... ...get going on this one over here. We've got the simple tools now. We can think about busting open one of these medium abandoned caches. Some purging fire and oil and wildfire essence versus some barrels, mushrooms, and vessels of incense. Where is all of my incense? What's going on there? Oh, we haven't any... We haven't any more resin. Okay, I'll, I should take the one with the incense. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alrighty, more newcomers. Vegetables and mushrooms versus clay. That's... Over-diligent wood... Oh, I'm gonna go with crowded houses. I already... Did I already take rich glades? I did already take rich glades. They could be even richer glades. Um, but crowded houses will be nice because all of the uh, racial specific housing will accommodate one more person, which is good. That means more people will get uh, the bonus from living in the houses that they actually like to live in. We're going to assign our three lizards into the Explorer's Lodge so we can get the Crown Chronicles, uh, which will give us plus one global resolve for every rebuilt or salvaged ruin. Which there's probably going to be at least one here in this dangerous glade. There we go. A weaver. Interesting. Hidden Trader Cemetery. <laughs> Once again, this doesn't really affect me very much. 
other than the fact that it'll give me uh, impatience points every 10 minutes. It's almost not worth it to clear it, but I would feel sick noting that it was just kicking around. So... And we will keep the goods as well, and away we go. Cool. Oh, and I got my second event looted. Select the keep goods option. Oh! <laughs> I hadn't thought about that, actually. My, uh... That medium abandoned cache that I cracked open counts as a keep goods. We will take that. We will take that. Let me get some lizard houses down. Just because they're very nearly past the high resolve point. My harpies are, already are and are producing a lot of reputation. And uh, I'll get another human house down, too. God, maybe I do build another hub. Yeah, I think it would just be a useful thing to do at this point. Although... It needs to be quite a ways away. Maybe I build it over here? There's never enough bloody room to put them down. Okay, hmm. I'm gonna move one of my woodcutter's camps. Clear this area over here. And that's where I'll put down my second hub here in a little while. We get a scribe? Alright, well, I'll get something that can produce scrolls. Which I guess is the rain mill at the moment. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll make some flour for biscuits as well. If we ever get the small farm. Pull that there. And we got distracted and we didn't build a brewery, which will go across the street from the rain mill. We will make pigment from the berries, which we will use to produce the scrolls in the rain mill so that we can educate our people at the Explorer's Lodge. That statement is, um, against the storm in a nutshell. <laughs> Religion would also be useful. I do have the means to produce incense. I should probably look after doing that in the near future here. Uh-oh. Hostility level's high. Oh no, everybody's unhappy. What's going on? Get the, uh, get the fireman on the case here. Get some, uh... Get some cysts fried here. Woodcutters 9, villagers. Regular glades, steers. Okay. Yeah, I should get another hearth down here. That'll help with some of the hostility. Okay. Copper bars, meat, and berries. Leather and parts. Take the food in the bars. Meat specialization. Meat production increases by one every 25 times it's produced. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that. Got our next order. 20 aesthetic decorations. Or three ancient tablets and four glades. Um, I'm gonna take the 20 aesthetics. Once again, it's just simpler. I'll upgrade my other hub here as well, fairly quick. And I'm gonna build another warehouse. How many parts do I have? Seven parts. Okay, starting to run low on... a bit low on parts. 
Warehouse only requires one though, which is nice. Oh, okay. I am then gonna move this harvester's camp over to that newly discovered bit. And, look at that, there's a small encampment down here too. We will entice them with some eggs. Down my small hearth yet. Very good. Alright, that's another hearth down here. And I'm just gonna take a minute and put down all of the decorations required. Uh we will take a harpy. The harpy hearth keepers. Uh, benefit is plus five to carrying capacity for everybody. So, quite good. Oh, look at that. Producing reputation from everyone. Oh, no, just kidding. The lizards are now once again feeling mediocre about it. Put down some racial specific housing in this southern neighborhood. Move some of the... Move some of the population over. Oh, look at that. Look at how lovely the ancient hearth looks like when it is at district level. Got some weird floating pans. All sorts of lovely shrubbery, some... Ornamental sticks. Looking great. Why is the cookhouse chilling? Out of mushrooms, eh? I don't want to use meat as well, but uh, we're going to do it. Meat and mushrooms. I don't know where... I guess we just exhausted our supply of mushrooms. That means it's time to think about cracking open another dangerous glade. Ooh, maybe this forbidden one down here. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll, uh, we'll go hard. Trapper's camp has no deposits nearby. Ooh, ooh. We're out of meat production as well. Ooh, okay, yeah. We need to be expanding more. It's about to be the storm. I don't think that'll be a problem, though. Things reorganized here in a moment. Oh, actually, you know what I don't have? I don't have any spark, do. Hmm. Okay, this will have to wait until after the next storm, I guess. I should have a rain collector down. Got her still woodcutters camp down there? Shit. All these poor harpies just bringing bringing berries in from the other side of the moon. Oh, 
they're gonna cut. <laughs> they're gonna cut into there. I'll clear up this area a bit. We'll be ready to go right at the start of the next storm cycle. We got our 50 jerky. Do indeed have our 50 jerky. Oh, that's good. Oh. Oh, we've got Blight Post. Blight Post gang. Yeah, fry that fool. Scrolls at the Explorer's Lodge. People are getting educated. Everybody is above zero. Oh, well, that's nice. Let's check our orders. Last two. 30 packs of provisions in exchange for ranch and some skewers and newcomers, or have 18 harpies. Do I have 18 harpies? I have seven harpies. I'm not going to go for 18 harpies. And, uh, burn 25 blight rot cysts and have 20 purging fire. Or six ancient tablets. I wouldn't be surprised if I don't actually complete this. This last one. I think... I've already got six ancient tablets. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, I will take the freebie, honestly. And deliver it. And that was a bad idea. Once again, I should not be handing in orders during the storm. Because now... People are miffed. People are very miffed. Harpies, why? Eat some, eat some jerky. Have some biscuits. Kick your feet up. Ooh, this is... I'm gaming. I'm gonna be gaming the system hard here. <laughs> hey, let's go. I didn't lose anybody. That feels good. Fabric, plant fiber, or the roots and the clay. I guess I'll take the roots and the clay. Alright, let's get into this forbidden glade here. I've got two blueprints to check. Um alright, well I just gotta bite the bullet, I guess. The tavern? I mean I've got a brewery. Just don't have any moons means to produce Rain. What would probably be better would be the temple here. Religion and education. Got a lot of doubles. That's okay, I've got a lot of population. Temple it's gonna be. Alright. Temple we're definitely building first. You know, Harpy making Spark do. I mean, even if it is Spark do, there's probably gonna be some alternative that I can choose. All right, there we go. Forbidden Glade is open. Oh my god, an absolute bonanza of foodstuffs. Large abandoned caches, and we've got a dark gate. Oi. All right, so after 10 minutes, death from beyond kills 10 random villagers. Fair enough. Gate presence, minus eight to global resolve, and plus 200 hostility of the forest. Okay. Oh, that's, uh, pretty harsh. Let's get after it. Everybody is still quite happy, which is good. And there is a ton of useful materials down here. In fact, I am quite convinced... Can I fit another hearth down here? Oh, I can, just. I can just build it on this farmer field right here. I'm gonna do it, I don't care. Okay, and then we can get this, get these poor harpies over at this herbalist camp, actually. Not having to walk a country mile. And another warehouse. 
Hold on, we've got our temple. Right, 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 right. I guess human, human priests at the temple. Sacrament of the Flame. All right, let's turn up scroll production to uh, 40, and we will turn up incense production to 50. That way we will have some for clearing glades, if need be, and we will also have enough to uh, satisfy our, our settlers' religious needs. Still don't have the means to produce brawling equipment, which feels kind of bad. I still need four more aesthetic decorations. Well, I guess we'll put these down here, knowing that we will need them soon. Put some flower beds down, maybe? Along the side of the road, looks kind of nice. And a park over by the waterside. <laughs> well, it's game over. Let's go. Got the bandit camp deed. And just like that. Head back to the world map here. Lovely. So that was Ruella. Bordering here on the old, uh... First Dawn Company. Let's see what we got. Got a deed from that bandit camp. Woohoo! New Citadel upgrades. The Tinctury, Pigment Wine and Ale, The Furnace, Copper Bars, Bricks and Pie, The Butcher, Skewers Jerky and Oil, Moldy Grain Seeds as a Cornerstone, A New Type of Grain, Gain 3 Mushrooms for Every 10 Grain Produced, okay. And Lost Supplies, An Unusual Amount of Supplies Can Be Found in Some Glades, Gain 40 Meat and 40 Grain for Each Completed Dangerous. Oh my god, that's amazing. And prosperous archaeology. Gain a stack of wealth for every two caches open. Awesome. Those are really good cornerstones. And what upgrades can I afford here? Really, I'm hard up on food stockpiles more than anything. Uh, embarkation bonus of planks, bricks, and fabric. That could be okay. Increased town vision range. Huh. So I can actually go further afield. Actually seems useful. One cornerstone reroll charge per settlement. That's quite good as well. Embarkation bonus herbalist camp just straight up. What the hell? Yeah, absolutely. I love the herbalist camp. It's, f it's phenomenal. All right. Can't afford anything else. So there we go. We actually that wasn't too bad at all. I don't know if we just got easy with our uh, with our orders or what have you, but uh, not not being able to trade was really not as much of an impediment as, as I thought it was going to be. So anyway, thanks. This has been against the storm. Uh, still really enjoying it. Still playing more of it. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, you know what to do. Appreciate that.